We've got a Vista Cruiser MB24 we're looking at today. Customized a little bit. Work done around the windshield about a year ago. So we don't have any major rust issues there. It's been holding up really good. It's got 266,000 miles on it. And uh, be happy to take it across the country a dozen more times. It runs great. You've been full timing in it? Full time. Let's have a look inside. Let's take a look inside. There's a little under the window yeah, there. There's a little rust. It is a 2005 vehicle, so there is a little bit of cosmetic stuff we got to look at. But... Yep. So, is that a Max fan? It's a different brand, but it works so good. It's nice and quiet. Got some fans in the back by the pillows there and some yep. reading lights. Looks really like... comfortable. That's a queen size memory foam. Goes across, that's what the bump outs are for. Sound system, USB chargers. Yep, and we have an air conditioner up there that works great. Powers right up, cools it down in two seconds. Lots, Lots of storage. storage. Lots of storage. The uh, microwave was in this cabinet right here. Okay. And uh, we took that out. And we've got a full bathroom with a uh, bathroom shower works. Everything works. No leaks anywhere. Uh, and this coil here. This Wet is a uh, this. Well, these these RVs came with a, a electric uh, water heater on demand, but they never work. They maybe raise the water two degrees, you know. So this you can set uh, go over the door with it. Set over here on the stove in a in a pot of water, uh -huh. and you have a it's our MacGyver hot water heater, endless hot water, and it works really great. We can take it out. We can keep it in. We took a lot of photos of how we kind of live in it. The yeah. seats are turned around to make the nice living room. Privacy curtains, Privacy of curtains go all the way around, and we have a sun shield for the front. I have to comment, those are nicely uh, handmade and not your average gray or beige. They've got some character to them. And they can be covered with anything or replaced. Those are easy replacements. Shame. I, like I know, I like them too, we like them too. This is a table that we put in, it used to have a pedestal table that got in the way all the time. This table, nice thing about this table, more, more room if you need to bring some stuff or yep, haul, plenty some, of storage. haul some things. Makes a great workstation, TV comes with it, We've got a switch hooked up to it and another HDMI cable so you can hook up a computer, hang out here, work, play. Oh, when you okay, you're not talking about a network switch. You're talking about Nintendo Switch. Nintendo huh? Switch, yeah. That's silly it's me. It's right up to the TV. <laughs> All right. And then if you turn around this way, Bill, you'll notice up here we've got some electronics. We've got an afterburner. There's a diesel heater under the passenger seat. You can see the vent right there. Yeah. And a Ray Jones afterburner from Australia up here that controls it. So you have a full thermostat. I gotta get one of those. Here you have some extra USB. This is a hole for the BMS. We have a Victron BMS we're popping in there. That'll come with it. Um, it's got the Victron uh, smart charger, isolated DC-DC charger. That's all hooked up and working. We've got a 75 watt solar controller with a 240 watt solar panel on the roof, 200 amp AGM battery in the, in the back there. Uh, this is an Alpha Wi-Fi Ranger. And it's hooked up. We have a, a wireless antenna that hooks up to the antenna that raises and lowers with this. Okay. And you can pick up Wi-Fi from a mile away. And this is just an extra mesh router that can be used if you want to for anything. It's just a router. It doesn't it come with it. We can take it out whenever you want. We, we use it once in a while. We got a nice, nice water and cooking. Yep. Everything works good. We got a spice rack up here. More storage under here, I suppose. It's all storage under there, yep. If Big you and roomy. Check, check something out that's really cool. I don't know if you can get this on camera. This this is this just used to have a door, this hole here. There's mm -hmm. an inverter, a thousand watt inverter in there. It's easy to get to. Okay. And it's also wired up to the front here too, so you can see, oh, I that see. In there. Yep. So that's also you can plug things in right there. But I also have a wire running up over by the TV, so everything in this uh, 
in this thing over by the TV. If you put, see that black plug down there, you, you take the white plug, you put it in the black plug, turn the inverter on, then you're running on inverter. It's just a manual switch over. Okay. And that's yep. for everything. But check this out. See this? This used to have a door on it. Look at this. So this is the, oh, this is the door. Now you're back. And it's also a step. Yeah, your step is out of the way. Now your step is back. Extra storage. Isn't that nice? Access to the... The basement? Yep. The garage? Let's go take a look at the garage. We have a giant, spacious garage back here. You can store uh, bicycles, camping gear, tools, whatever you need. And then if you go back down here, and the nice, nice uh, 10 inch memory foam bed that comes with it. Uh huh. It's uh, brand new. Over here's your your plumbing. There's a brand new pump in there, water pump. This is the old hot water heater that came with it that is really useless, so we don't use it at all. It's still wired in, but it's turned off, as you can see right there. Yeah. Yeah, they heat too slow and you gotta be plugged in. Yep. Don't dare turn that on when your inverter's on. This, this van is 100% mouse proof. Oh yeah, you were telling We've me We've gone that. around and sealed every nook and cranny. Nothing's getting in here. Here's the 200 amp hour battery with the uh, battery charger up top. You can also access it if you take the mattress off. There's a la uh, roof, roof latch that opens up there for that. Mm -hmm. So you can get into the top there. Big battery. Um, yep. 200 and what? 200 amp hour. 200 amp hour. Okay. AGM. This all comes with everything here. It's got a backup cam. Yep. Opening rear windows. I know a lot of folks want those. This one works 100%. See yeah, how this works here? You can latch it from the inside and the shades go up. This one we're going to work on a little bit. Right now it's closed, but the uh, what happens is the uh, the shades and the screens get wonky and haven't been able to find replacements for the just the parts. But these windows, you can buy these windows from Turnover Land. Uh, they're a company out of Colorado, and I'll have links for that. Um, but you can replace all of these windows with new windows. These windows are original windows, so to have them, you know, at least some of them working is, is a nice plus. Yeah. Most of them don't work anymore. Um, this window over here has a little crack on it, but it is usable. Everything works. See, it's got a little crack up here that's been sealed up. Oh, yeah. Not very noticeable. No, it's not too bad. And the other side's been replaced by uh, Plexi, but that side works too. Yeah, that's the way I'd say most of them are that I see. Yeah. Plexi. And it works. And it works. It, we've got latches that we, we had to put a separate latch in here, but it does work and it latches closed. Um, and we've had it this way for about five years with no issues at all. Um, Turn Overland has these windows in stock for about 450 I think. You can get a new window, but it's the whole window. It's the glass, it's the thing, it's the shades, it's everything. So you take this out, oh, yeah. you put a new one in. That's something that anybody can do. This fridge right here, it works great. It's the original fridge. It's never failed us. It runs off the battery. If you're on shore power, it runs on shore power. Under the hood is looking pretty clean. We still got some factory, uh, what is that, corrosion resistance there. OEM Voller EGR. OEM Garrett Turbo down there. Hoses are looking pretty good. Fuel pump is dry and still has most of its, uh, what is that, baked on paint there, the powder coat. Most of them are more rusty like that. Got the aluminum turbo resonator down there. A couple of new hoses on the turbo system. I know that one right there is new. Transmission has been replaced at some point. I noticed the transmission cooler lines were replaced at the same time. Yep. Glow plugs and glow plug module are all in good working order. And we've got the uh, the updated module down there. If I can get the camera in there, yeah, I can't see it. But that's the updated resetting module, not the one that blows fuses. 
a little bit of extra wiring here going to something on the dash. Not sure what that's all about. RVs have lots of extras. That is a fused link. I saw a fuse. Yeah, there's the fuse. Over there's a fuse link. That's probably going to the house battery charging system. You also have an S-Bar heater, a factory boost heater. Do you know anything about that? Do you never use used it? it. Never used it. I've never seen one work. So there's something there that... The light turns on. He hit it accidentally. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Still looking really good under here. We just did a fresh oil change. Looking at windshield rust. It's been reworked and well, as rust does, it's coming back a little bit already. That could probably be reworked a little bit better. I have to talk to the guy that did that. Yeah. Under the van looks really good. Fuel tank is dry as it should be. Dry shaft is good, original and clean. No evidence of dust or wear. Nope. Bilstein shocks. Not seeing any rust in the usual places. Yeah, we've got a diesel heater right here. Transmission's looking good. It's a drop-in replacement. We get a bird's eye view on it from up here. There's the uh, solar panel. You said, uh, you told me how many watts? 240 watts, I believe. 240 watts, and the roof AC works, and the roof fan works. There's a television antenna and a Wi-Fi antenna that goes up with it. That yeah, all works. That up, while you're up. Yeah, up she goes. Nice and loose. Yep. Oh, that's a hand crank, huh? Easy, you don't have to worry about a motor giving you a hard time. It's all lubed up and works like a charm. It's got the outdoor shower on it too, Bill. Pop-up camper kind of shower thing. Yeah, so if you want to rinse off after going to the beach. And then does that work off the same hot water heater? Sure does. The setup you've got going on yep. in there? Yep. All the hot water comes from inside when you have that MacGyver coil on the stove, but anything that runs through the plumbing. Serving everything, not yep. just the shower, good deal. City water works. We got it hooked up to power right now. These power cables will come with it. It's a great little ride. Gets about uh, 20 to 22 miles per gallon. And, uh, and we have a tow hitch on the back too. Already installed. Ready for your motorcycle carrier or seven, your seven trailer? Wiring. Comes with a wireless brake controller. Hooks up to your phone. It is a beautiful van. It's a great van. Ready for its next life with somebody.